Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to yet another video. This time we're looking at something uh, quite different. It's been a while since I made a video too, but uh, <laughs> we're looking at something called Scanline Sync. Now this is something that a viewer of mine brought attention to and uh, this, in my opinion, this is an amazing tool. Shout out to that guy. Uh, I'm sorry, man, I can't find your comment, but this tech essentially shows how you can remove screen, screen tearing, right? Usually you would need to use VSync to remove all sorts of uh, screen tearing, right? And what that would do is introduce a lot of latency. So when you look around, especially in games where you have a mouse and, a, and, a, and you know, you're playing with that, it feels kind of horrible, I'm not going to lie. Um, and that's that's not good, right? It's almost unacceptable in a lot of games, right? And right now you can see I have my FPS locked at 63, and that's because I'm trying to kind of exaggerate the, the kind of out of sync screen tearing. And this, I have this little thing over here that shows me the actual screen tearing, as you can see this little bar over here. And these lines that you see going up are essentially the screen tearing. The screen tearing is shifting constantly going up. And if I look around, you might actually see it in the video. It's kind of horrible, you know? And just to get, give some like background, screen tearing is essentially your GPU is rendering a bunch of frames, you know, and it's sending it to your monitor. And your monitor renders those frames, but what happens is to reduce the latency of what you actually see on the screen, your monitor, if your if your GPU is sending too many frames more than the monitor's refresh rate, your monitor will render like show half the picture that it sent, and then already start showing the next picture that the graphic card is sending because the graphic card is sending more than the refresh rate the monitor can render. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if it's a bit confusing. Uh, I'm no expert on it by any means, but as a result of it, you'll see like half of the picture rendered. Right, it'll it'll be like rendering like this. Another picture will come up, so it will like cut the picture, usually horizontally, because monitors kind of render like top top to down, top to bottom. I think, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so that's why you see like this kind of horrible. Um, and so, yeah, so VSync will usually, if you turn on VSync, it will try to sync the GPU with the monitor, so the GPU will only send the frames the monitor needs. Uh, but as a result, the, you know, what's it called? The GPU will actually be waiting on the monitor to render that frame. Um, and so there's going to be added latency and you'll feel like this really smooth kind of effect. Now, what does Scanline Sync do? And how do you use it? Scanline Sync, essentially, you can use it to, to change which part of the screen actually cuts. So imagine I have screen tearing over here, as you can see this. This side, I'm not sure I can see my finger here, right? Imagine I have, I can control the screen tearing. And I could say, hey, have screen tearing down here, you know, somewhere that's like in a hidden spot that I cannot see. And that's essentially what scan sync does. It just, it, you can just use it to actually move the screen tearing line up and down on your monitor. And in my opinion, it's amazing. And it completely hides the screen tearing. And you can still see your screen perfectly clearly with almost no latency. I do believe it adds some latency, I'm not 100% sure, but it is significantly better than the latency added by vSync. So it essentially feels like native, right? Um, or it might actually just be native, but yeah. So amazing tech, how do you use it? Let's get into it, that's enough uh, of an intro. So you need a software called RiverTuner. This is the software, RiverTuner is the server. I hope uh, the camera can show it. Um, I'm not, I don't have a good camera in my hand, so don't mind that. So usually to install this software, you would need to install uh, something called MSI Afterburner. And if you get this, it will it will install the software alongside it, right? And then what you need to do is, in order to see this line, by the way, it's very simple to see this line as well. This line, like I said, indicates where the screen tearing is happening a bit more clearly. So you don't have to like just use your eyes, you know? Uh, and you can just like basically add a game. And the way you would add a game that's already running is you would hold control on your keyboard and click on add and it will show you all the 3D applications and you can see my game is right there and I can uncheck everything and essentially add this and click OK, right? And I already have it added right here. Once you have it, um, what you can do, you can click on Setup. So with, the, with this, like, you can click, click on Setup and you can turn on this option. Enable Frame Color Indicator and change it to two bars. And this is essentially this 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 cutting that you're seeing on the on the side over here. This uh, this very, very nice cutting. <laughs> um, then we're, we're going to do some some scanline sync magic. And the way this works is I'm just going to like reduce it. I'm going to make it negative one, right? And now if you notice, do you notice something? I don't actually does not show. Yeah, it kind of shows up. So in, in the camera, I, I think my camera is kind of cutting off a bit. But at the top, there's a bit of screen tearing. I might actually move it a little bit up. 
hopefully that shows up. So at the top, there's a little bit of screen tearing in the corner there. And that screen tearing, we've essentially moved the screen tearing to the top of the screen right now. And if I move around, you might you might see it. I'm not sure if you're going to see it, but it's completely at the top only, right? So what this does is it locks the FPS of your game to your screen's monitor refresh rate, right? And it just moves the sync line up and down. So if I if I were to enter a positive number in this uh, you know in this in this application, it will move the line down. Otherwise, it will move the line up, right? And you can use it to essentially hide. So if I were to type in something like negative fifty or negative thirty, which I think is a pretty decent amount, you'll see the line is now down here at the very very bottom. Again, I'm not sure, but I think it sort of shows. Yeah, it sort of shows. Okay, nice. And this is exactly one. It might even show at the top sometimes. And that's perfect. So now in the center of the screen, there's essentially no screen tearing. And it feels significantly smooth and something like nicer experience. And there's no vSync latency because with vSync, your GPU is actively waiting to send frames. With this, it's still sending frames, right? It's still sending it at 60. It's technically still waiting, but it's not trying to sync up with the monitor because they might be kind of in different, you can say, um, uh, how do I say it? Like different phases. You know, like one is operating like this, the other is operating like this. You know, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, like if you've seen sign graphs and stuff um, or electrical phases, you know. And that way they're technically out of sync and you would still get refer like screen tearing even at locked 60, even though that's your monitor's refresh rate. But in this case, you're still getting screen tearing, but you're just really good at hiding it, right? And occasionally you'll see this, this bar flip a bit, but it's not going to be actually noticeable. Uh, so you're not going to see that. Now, this is basically kind of the rundown of how to set it up, what it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I have a tendency to talk a lot. <laughs> but there's a, there's a few more options you can explore here, by the way. You can actually change the sync rate. So let's say you have a 120 hertz monitor, but you're not able to... You, you do need to reach the FPS that the game has, like your monitor's refresh rate, right? You do need to reach that in order to fix this. Otherwise, if I'm running at like 50 FPS, I'm going to still see tearing, right? So if I were to say... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, if, I, if I had a 120 hertz monitor, I could technically lock this at half my refresh rate by just clicking on this button. And you can see it will say X over 2. And that's basically like, now it's going to run at 30 FPS, right? This is like running at 30 FPS. It doesn't feel good, <laughs> kind of like, at least on mouse and keyboard. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, on a 120 hertz, it would run at 60, right? And you can even make it go as far as like, I think, okay, apparently not out of four, but yeah. There's also an X2 mode, which I guess allows it to run at double the double frames and still not have screen tearing. I think this might be useful to reduce the latency as much as possible, like, because there is still technically input lag, like 60 FPS is like 16 um, frames, you know? Sorry, 16 milliseconds to render. Let you, let's go down to performance. I wonder if we can actually reach 120. No, we still can't. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, actually, what? Okay, but we have two screen tearing lines now instead of one. <laughs> so that's not that's not the best thing, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure about the two X mode. I guess I haven't explored it enough, so I will I will refrain from that. But now one one thing you do need to keep in mind: this has a caveat. So this is not free, right? I mean, it's free, but it's it has limitations. It has some cons, and the cons the con basically is in my opinion, depending on what you're playing, can be quite significant. And that is that your GPU, so you can see this is my GPU over here. I'm not sure if I can actually see there. But this is my GPU. It says 52%. That right there is my GPU usage, right? If your GPU usage were to exceed or go around 80% and go above 80%, your screen tearing line will get significantly worse. Essentially, your GPU is unable to kind of control where the tearing happens and it just kind of goes all over the place, right? And you cannot control and move it up and down like I am able to right now. And to kind of demonstrate that, uh, I think we can go to like a higher resolution. Uh, this is 1440p. This is like at 70. This is still really nice. You can see the screen tearing is up there. Uh, but just because there's more pixels, you technically have to move it a bit more. So I think you can go from like negative 30 to like negative 150 and that'll just be okay. Actually, that's a bit too much. Maybe negative 90. Okay, so now like it's like it's like a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. It's it's very doable, right? It's very clean in the center of the screen, which is where you're looking at, right? So this is still fine. This is still fine. Seventy percent still okay, right? But if you were to go even higher, let's just say I'm going at like four K now, um, 
4K will go will go like quality. I don't actually know if quality will reach me 60. I should reach me. Okay, so we're at quality. We're at 60, but our GPU usage, if you see here, is like 80, 90, you know? And it's actually still kind of holding up. <laughs> it's still kind of holding up. Yeah, so this is still actually doable, but the tearing is kind of moving a bit too much. It's kind of jumpy a lot. And the higher your GPU usage is, the more jumpy it's going to be. And obviously, this is not the most intensive area in the entire game. So as you were, if you were moving around in the game, you would see the tearing would kind of go up and down, up and down a lot. And it might even like spread out in multiple lines and multiple tiers. So your FPS do need to be your GPU just does need to be like less than 100. Uh, around 80 is like the perfect amount, the perfect usage, you know. Um, if you can maintain that, I think you can probably... Yeah, this, this is pretty good. Negative 300, this is, this is pretty good in my opinion. Or maybe actually negative 250. That is almost perfect. That's almost perfect, bro. This, <laughs> so this is a pretty good experience. Like basically tier free, right? Um, and my phone battery is low. Let's not, let's not think about that, yeah. So, yeah. That's basically, you know, you know, like a, a scanline sync. This is an amazing feature. I highly recommend you try it out. Get MSI Afterburner. Try this feature yourselves. Um, and yeah, like, you know, like, uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you would like to see more videos like this. I'm also doing some more Linux stuff. Uh, some Actually, I, I think I never mentioned that. But I am doing some Linux stuff, like, like uh, virtual machines and stuff. Would love to make a video on that as well. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. And I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hiva barakatuh.